Tennis postseason gets underway next week with sectional play. Division one in Finley and most of the area's D2 schools at UNOH, including Kenton. While Shawnee and Van Wert tied for the regular season title, Kenton had a strong season and a good day one on Thursday in the WBL finals. Wildcats looking for their first individual league champ in over 40 years. Hello Titans, how are you guys doing? Ottawa Glandorf taking in the action as well. We'll begin with first double semifinal. Salinas, Joel Weitz and Garrett Weininger taking on Kenton's Troy Gooden and Kyle Gooden. Bulldogs win to met the match 6-7, 6-1, 7-6. First doubles finals now. Facing Shawnee's Michael Rudder and Daniel Kessner. Salina takes the point, but Shawnee would go on to win first double 6-4, 4-6, 7-5. Third single semifinal, Shawnee's Jake Little taking on Wapak's Joe Pitts. Lytle wins 4-6, 6-2, 6-1. Falls in the finals to Eric Young. Second singles, Kenton's Jake Abbott against Van Wert's Nick Edder. Abbott wins the point, but Edder would win the match 6-love, 2-6, 6-1. In the other second single semifinal, Wapak's Drew Wayman taking on Shawnee's Ruthvik Avari. Avari the point, but Wayman would win the match, and Wayman would go on to win the second singles championship. First singles now, semifinal, Shawnee's Timmy Rudder against Wapak's Emerson Hager. Hager the ace, Hager would win 6-2, 6-2. The other semifinal for first singles, Kenton's at Dale Oates taking on Defiance's at Daniel Lasardi. Oates would win 6-3, 6-5 in the semis, and Oates would beat Hager in the finals. Kenton's first individual WBL Tennis Championship since 1974. As for the tournament standings, Shawnee wins the tournament in first place, one point ahead of Van Wert. So you take the tournament standings and the regular season standings, that's how you get the final standings, and that means Shawnee, once again, your WBL Boys Tennis Champions, a full point better than Van Wert.